Hey folks, I've got my Craftsman tractor here and it's got a steering problem. And I've had this problem before where it won't turn left. And you might have the situation where it won't turn right or you've got some other problem. But I've fixed it before and now the problem's back. And let me just show you what it won't do. If I turn the, the steering wheel, it stops there. Won't go any more there than, I don't know, 20 degrees off the center, but I can turn it right all the way this way, all the way to the stop. So I gotta figure out and fix why it won't turn any further than that. So let's get to it. You're gonna need to get access under here, so best thing to do is lower your, lower your deck at the beginning, and that's gonna give you access to where we need to go so that you keep your steering wheel straight. Get your wheels straight and get your steering wheel centered so that when we put this back together, driving straight isn't with your steering wheel cockeyed. That happened to me before. And the way to do that is to just come down here. Yeah. See the, the gear teeth moving? Just get your steering wheel lined up straight and then just take a Sharpie marker and mark these teeth here on this plate, on that plate, so that you know where the center of that plate needs to be when the gear gets put back together. First thing we need to do is disconnect this arm from the wheel axle because when you turn the steering wheel, that moves. So we wanna disconnect this because we're gonna need the room and it's a half inch, half inch wrench on both sides here. And then now I've got the, the bolt loosened this can just lift up. And why I was showing you that, because now you can turn this and if you don't know where center is, it'll be a bad deal later. The next thing we need to do is take off these two bolts. Take this nut off, take that bolt out and take this bolt out. And you've got to reach under there and, uh, and then we can take this whole thing apart. What you might want to do, what I did is I just disconnected this electrical connector, give yourself give yourself a little bit more room here. And the way to get these out is this bolt on this on this craftsman, this one is a half inch head and there's a half inch on the bottom. So I'm gonna take my half inch wrench and put it on the the nut under here on that one. And I'm gonna take my socket wrench here. Alright, I just I just disconnected that, so that's that bolt. Notice it's got this big shank there, and there's a reason for that. I'll show it in a minute, but just put that together and put it off to the side. Then the next bolt to take out, or is this next nut here, that's a 9 16ths on the top and the bottom <clears throat> on this Craftsman it is, so that needs to come off. Again, pretty easy. Just get your wrench underneath and a wrench or a socket up top. All right, and here's what came out of that last one. So just put them together and pull, move them off the side. All right, so now this whole plate setup can be taken out. So you can take out this plate. And now, if you'll see, there's this groove here. And the reason it wasn't turning is because that groove is full of dirt. See that dirt there? And as I would turn, that bolt that was there this would turn and then the dirt would get compressed and it would get stopped there. So basically, you gotta clean this whole area out. So I gotta get all the dirt out of the groove. I'm just gonna take this out of the way here. And here's this washer, this spacer. Keep that, don't lose that. And all of this dirt and debris needs to come out of here because that's the problem. Now, yours won't have this metal tape here. I put this tape here to block the gap that was allowing all the dirt to get in and it did work for a while but alas we got dirt in there anyway. So I'm just gonna get a little brush and I'm gonna brush all the stuff out of this compartment here and get ready to put this back together. We've got everything cleaned up. I've got all the debris out of there. I just took my glove and, and uh, moved everything out. We're ready to put this back together. So, I marked where the, the center groove is 
on mine. That's that black line. That's the center groove. I'm going to get the steering wheel straight here. Got to have the steering wheel straight and make sure your wheels are straight. And then you'll know that everything's good to go. So I'll get this lined up. Okay, I've got the steering wheel straight and you can see that black line there on the gear plate and that is right in the center of the groove uh, of the gear on the steering column and I've also attached it here to the wheel and the wheel straight so, so that's going to keep it in line. Next thing we need to do, take this little spacer, this round spacer it was in there that needs to go in this metal plate right in the middle, that big hole. Here's this plate. Mention that plate. We're going to put that plate back on. There you go. Got that first bolt in there, and I can just put the nut on. And I'm not going to do it all the way yet. Then I'm going to take this other one. Remember that big shank? That'll go through there through the top and then same deal put it on the bottom hand tight and I'm just going to tighten those things and then we'll be just about done all right those are all tightened those are both tightened so the last thing to do is to tighten the steering connection to the axle here and again these are half inch so I'm just going to do this number And if you disconnect the electrical connector, just plug those back together. There we go. Now, let's see if this thing works. Go. All right, now remember, we couldn't get this path about 20 degrees turning left. Now we can get it all the way, and we can get it all the way that way. That's how to take your steering mechanism apart. Hopefully that's helpful. If it is, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.